Hey everybody, I'm the one only Christy Smith of Christmas Videos TV and you're watching Notre Dame Christmas Videos TV. So, this week, it is now Friday, on Tuesday, um, I, uh, got a call from my surgeon's office because I was wanting to know what was going on and why they hadn't called me in a week and, you know, is Medicaid taking a long time to approve it? Well, my nurse hasn't e hadn't even sent off my information yet because... She didn't think that they would take a letter for my psyche bell. Um, and that was largely my psychiatrist's office fault. So what we had to do was... My dad actually had to, like, chew out the people at my psychiatrist's office because they weren't doing their jobs. Um, number one, they didn't know what was going on. So we had to tell them. They didn't understand, they didn't understand exactly what we were telling them either. Um, two, uh, they thought that a letter would work and they, were, they weren't going to do anything else. They weren't going to give us anything else. So my dad had to yell at them in order to get them to actually do it. Um, my dad has power of attorney over, power of attorney over me because I've got a schizoaffective disorder. So he has a right to ask them to do stuff like that. And they weren't listening. Um, three, my nurse had actually gotten a hold of them. They had forgotten all about that and they didn't even know, they didn't even know what was going on about that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you wouldn't know what was going on because you guys don't even care. You don't do anything for people. Um, so we had to, my dad had to yell at them to get them to understand and to get them to work, get them to do something. And eventually, um, later that night I got a hold of my nurse, their email, and she told me that, you know, that she did, she did get my, get the notes from my appointment, from my last appointment where my psychiatrist did my psyche bell. And supposedly all is well, but I haven't heard anything. She was, she hadn't, she hadn't looked at it and she hasn't said anything to me. No one said anything to me, so I don't know what's going on. So may email again. <laughs> um, but I, right now I think I'm okay. I think everything's okay. Uh, because once she has my psyche valor or actually has a, you know, thing stating from the, directly from the psychiatrist that, you know, I'm approved for, by him, I, I'm cleared for that. He evaluated me and said I was okay for weight loss surgery. Um, once she's got all that, because she's got everything else already that I've done, she will then send that to Medicaid and then Medicaid will approve it. Um, they act like Medicaid's going to approve it. And... You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I hope they approve it. Um, there is some doubt in my mind that they're going to not approve it because of that's just the way they are. But uh, if they approve my medications, then they're definitely going to approve, you know, something like this. So, if they approve most a majority of the stuff I do, then they're going to approve this. Um, you know, they might... Like, again, they might think something's up, you know, between me and be, me between me taking a very strong antipsychotic and then wanting a very advanced surgery, you know. But at the same time, I've got all these other doctors and everything stating that everything's okay. So, you know, if Medicaid doesn't think, doesn't think I should get it or doesn't agree or doesn't want to help then um i'm pretty sure my the my surgeon's office can help me um i mean there is no way in heck that i'm going to be able to do payment plans because i barely get uh 40 dollars at the end of the month after my ssi comes through and i'm not even allowed to use that because my dad runs my runs my finances and uses my money which he's not supposed to but i can't say anything um because then I'm being a money hogger and I'm not even doing anything. So, yeah. Anyways, 
um, if all is said and done and she's got everything she needs, my nurse, if she's got everything she needs, then it'll be a week. And if they don't call in a week, then it'd be two weeks or so, uh, for Medicaid to approve me. And then she'll give me a call. My nurse will give me a call and we'll get surgery scheduled. So, yeah. Um, I'm really excited. I'm, people keep asking me if I'm scared and I'm like, I'm not really scared. I'm just nervous because I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm not scared or anything. I don't think I'm going to die right, right off. Um, I've been under anesthetic, anesthesia before. I had my, all my wisdom teeth removed when I was 16. And though I was only about 250, 260 pounds then, um, it didn't phase me. It didn't bother me at all. Um, I, I didn't even need pain medication, so, yeah. So, <laughs> um, but then again, that surgery wasn't as invasive, and they're not, they didn't have to go inside of me. All they had to do was open my mouth, but, um, this time they have to go inside of me, so that's a big thing, so, yeah. Anyways, um, that being said, I will come back to you guys when I have my surgery date scheduled, or if anything else pops up or something, and, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, like I said, what I want to do is that I want to give you a, I want to give you, you know, a video about my, um, diet, because I have to go on a two-week, uh, liquid diet, uh, liver shrinking diet, liquid liver shrinking diet before my surgery, my pre-op diet, and, uh, I want to show you guys that. I also want to show you, uh, me the night before, and... Um, when I'm in surgery. So I will do a little video clip on my phone with me all prepped up and ready to go into surgery. And then I will talk to you guys after that, whenever I come back out, <laughs> if I'm awake enough to do it, then I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and I will show you guys how I am after in recovery and everything. Um, before I do that though, I have to talk to my friend Heather on the phone because I don't get to talk to her on the phone very much because she's, uh, always busy. She's, she's got a full-time job. She's cleans and does things all over the place. And that's, that's just her. She's just really busy all the time. And she doesn't mean to be. She just can't, <laughs> she just can't control, she just can't control that. Um, she doesn't have very much time, free time or anything like that. And when she does have free time, usually it gets taken up by her sister or somebody. So, um, Yeah. Which, as long as it's her family and not, like, somebody I don't know, then I'm okay with it. Because, uh, I would rather hang out with you first because I'm your best friend, Heather. But, <laughs> anyways, um, that's gonna be it. I will see you guys next time with either something else or a date for my surgery. The one and only Christy Smith from Christmas Videos TV and you're watching Notre Dame Christmas Videos TV. See you guys next time.